Welcome to Car Coach Reports. This is 4 Minute Friday for the week ending November 29th, 2019, and I'm Lauren Fix. We're inside the 2019 Mercedes G550. Yes, it's the G Wagon. We drove both the AMG and the regular G Wagon. A review to come soon. This is what's going on in your automotive world. Stay right with us. Let's put four minutes on the clock. We just left the LA Auto Show and it is the first of the auto show season and the number one vehicle that really got me excited was the Audi GT Concept. It is really cool. It's all electric. I'm not a big all electric fan, but the design of this vehicle, if it comes to market like this, is just mind blowing. It's got that wide hips. It's a four door vehicle, no door handles. Notice that, that's very cool. Another big hit of the show was the Lincoln Aviator. Now this SUV is all new. Now it's, it's fitting in that niche just slightly smaller than a Nautilus, which is a beautiful car, but this car really has design and technology and the sound system is Rebel. If you're not sure what that is, it is really a bespoke audio system. There's 28 speakers in this car and we got to listen to the sound and all the chimes were made by the Detroit Symphony. That's pretty cool. No more of those beeps and noises, just beautiful chimes. Another big hit of the show was the 2020 SQ8. And I got to see it, it's really cool. It's lower, it's flatter, it's wider. Very Audi-esque, less SUV, more sporty. So I give them a lot of credit for that. I'm looking forward to seeing that. And there was an example on the show floor. We'll get to review one of those in the future. Another big hit at the show was the 2019 Jeep Scrambler. So basically it's a Jeep with a pickup bed. We're hearing a possibility of a plug-in platform and maybe even diesel. That would be really cool. Of course, you can remove the roof. It's typical Jeep, great off-road ability. I think they did a really nice job with this vehicle and look forward to reviewing that as well. Number two, the future of automotive car shows. I hope you're going to automotive car shows, take your kids. One of the things about automotive car shows, it's a place for them to sell you vehicles, but it's also a place for you to look at multiple different models on the show floor. Obviously the consumer days are different from that of media days, but it's really great when you're thinking about, I want an SUV, there's so many options. I'm looking at a sedan or whatever it might be. There's lots of great options out there. So. The future of them is interesting. As the Detroit Auto Show moves to June, we really don't know what their future will be, but they want to make it more amusement park, more of an event location. Would that make you go? I don't know, you tell me. Number three, General Motors had the absolute worst timing for a press announcement, announcing they're going to remove some models, shut down five plants, and lay off 14,000 workers, cut 25% of their global executives, why would you do that before an auto show? It made absolutely no sense. And of course, that infuriated the president and the administration saying, we just bailed you out. And now you're shutting down plants in the US and moving production to Mexico and China? I don't think that's gonna fly. They were even threatened with potentially losing their EV tax credit. That won't happen, but you can see that the president is angry. One of the reasons that General Motors is cutting back on production has nothing to do with tariffs. It has to do with the fact that they're late to the game. Think about this. FCA said, we're gonna stop making all these excess sedans. And they cut that down over a year ago. Ford announced seven months ago, hey, we're only gonna make Mustangs, Focuses, and SUVs. Okay, at that time, GM said, we're gonna continue making Impalas and all these great cars we're gonna sell. Well, seven months later, now Mary Barr is saying, uh, yeah, we're looking at the future and thinking we're not gonna be selling Impalas and Chevy Cruises because sales are down. GM's doing something wrong if their SUV sales are down in a strong SUV market. So they're gonna try and reinvent what they're doing. Their story is 20 new electric vehicles, they're not selling. Only 1.5% of sales are electric vehicles and AVs, but I don't think we're there yet. So you're gonna see a lot of movement going on. General Motors split their show floor. It's kind of interesting. I'm sure it wasn't intentional with all the cars you're not gonna make on one side and all the SUVs and Corvettes and Camaros on the other. It was kind of funny. We kind of all joked about that. This week in automotive history, November 25th, 2018, Fernando Alonso is retiring from F1. He had 17 seasons in F1. 32 victories. If you total that all together, he raced the equivalent of one fifth of the way to the moon. That's kind of cool. I was always an Alonzo fan. I'm sad to see him leave F1. I'm sure he'll be racing in some other series in the near future. Check out the descriptions below to find out more details on the LA Auto Show. If you want to see our latest video, just click right up there. If you want to see what YouTube suggests, just click right there. And if you want to subscribe to us, we appreciate it. You can click right there. We'll see you next time. Have a great day.